Welcome everyone to episode 14 of the Iran series and episode 13 and 13.1 you saw there was an election and we have a new president. So I spared you with watching me hire a uh, new cabinet. <clears throat> so all of that's in place. And one of the changes is we have a better relation with Libya. We have a stronger relationship with Russia. And we have a stronger relationship with India. Relationship with China pretty much stayed the same. So we're going to play off of these new relationships that we have with uh, these different countries. Um, for right now, I'm probably going to create a military uh, alliance with them. And we don't really want to dedicate ourselves to backing anybody up if there's some type of war because our military really isn't strong enough as of yet but that's a uh, that's going to be a work in process so in the meantime <clears throat> let's uh try to get our interest rate down um there's no point in sending it with India because it's at zero. So we will sit with Japan. And we'll sit with Saudi Arabia. And even our relationship with the U.S. has brought us down to a zero uh, percent interest rate. So we're going to sit with the U.K. And let's have a meeting with Libya. And also, we want to look at our inflation. So, it's down to 27.24. We can get that down even more. You have to strike while the iron is hot. So, what are you and your government waiting for? All right, and we even have our unemployment down to 7.26. We could get that lower by another 2%. Hopefully before the end of this episode, but I know we could definitely do that regardless. Okay, secondary school systems, high school students feel cramped. All right, so... Let's build a couple more buildings for that. So we're going to build 200 more high schools all throughout the country. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? All right, I know I could get that down by 1%. Very well. We accept your offer. You're not bad. Very kind. Sure. Alright, and let's also take a look at our growth. So, growth is going in the right direction. It's at 4.62. Um, once that goes up to a certain point, I'm going to start implementing some more uh, policies to kind of balance it out. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? 
Okay, again, I know I could get that down Very by one percent. Well, we accept. Very. You're. And we can end that. All right, so. Let's uh, let's increase the minimum wage to two hundred a month. It's time we start giving back to our people in our country and improve living conditions. And the other thing we're going to do is. We're going to raise the minimum pension rate. Let's go with 115 a month. And then for our industry. All right, so one thing I definitely want to do is increase <clears throat> Our production of the uh, fuel cell batteries. So we're going to raise that to about 511. That doesn't exactly bring us to completely meet our demand, but we're pretty close to it. And I'm going to slowly do that because I, I don't want our growth to... Uh, get completely out of control. Okay, so yeah, we'll patent that. That'll bring us in some money. Sure. Dark and strong, please. All right, so we want a non-aggression pact. So we're not going to be obligated to exactly defend them as of yet. Um, as our military gets stronger and we're able to deal with more threats, um, then we'll think about changing that. Very kind. Yes, it's a good idea. Let's see, what can we... What can we sell them that they actually need? Um, let's look at our vegetables. Okay, we can definitely sell them vegetables. They don't produce any at all. So let's raise that. We could probably give them a little bit more. And we'll make this a three year contract. All right, so let's try again. That was a little too much. Okay. And we'll accept their counter. It's still more than our average sale, so we'll still make some money off of it. And we'll end that meeting. Okay, and... So we want to get into building aircraft carriers. So... I think we'll go with 150... 150 workers, that's almost a billion dollars. 
and then we'll subsidize by 200. But are you crazy? You are screwing up the whole thing. Your job and your country. You cannot continue like this. I cannot even back you up in such a blow. Seriously, you must react and get a move on. Alright, I have no idea what he's talking about. Okay, so our cybersecurity is finally on a gold level, which is the highest level. And let's see. So we still want to increase awareness, so we're going to start that up. Our task force has coordinated with the PR firm to prepare for the campaign. It will start in two weeks. You have taken good initiative. It is indeed appropriate to anticipate and make our citizens ready to face the never-ending threat of cybercrime. Okay, and let's go to research and so I think I want to build 30 more laboratories. And let's hire another 10,000 there. And let's go back to industry again. And we want to get started with naval construction. So, ooh, that's too much. That's way too much than I, more than I want to spend for right now. So let's start off with 50 workers. And let's do about 150 as a subsidy. Did that even do anything? No, it didn't. Oh, well, it didn't take it. Okay, so our poverty level is going down. Um, let's actually take a look at that. So people living below the poverty line was at 17.53 at the beginning of the series. It's now down to 14.33, and I know we could get that down even lower. Alright, let's take a quick look at our growth. So growth is at 5.6. So let's go with our taxation here. Alright, let's keep it at that. All right, and let's look at unemployment. It's going down to 6.87. So because it's going down, I'm going to take some funding from the employment agency. I'm going to put some of that in. Employment discrimination. We are awaiting your instructions to direct operation. Oh boy, what are they rioting over now? Human Sharing Solidarity Foundation. Alright, we're just going to send the military in to deal with that. 
We're not going to play around with this at all. The situation is not in our favor. I advise you to order the situation. Okay. Without a real surprise, the paramilitary units of the enemy have entered in action. This is war. The rebels have stopped fighting. Our actions on the ground have definitely made an impression on our opponents and divided them. Okay. All right, let's see what else we can do. Um... Alright, we're going to rehabilitate 20,000 homes. And we have a 58.9 surplus. 58.9 billion dollar surplus. So, let's go to our debt, see what that's at. We have subdued the rebel movement. There's no more unrest in the city. Alright, so we're doing pretty well. Um, we got public debt down to 11.7%. It was at 32 at the beginning of the series. I want to connect this city right here. Is has a high population. Um, somehow want to build up enough to get to the capital. So we're gonna go ahead and build a main highway. To this city here. It's going to take 23 months. We're going to drop that down. Alright, so. We're going to wait a little bit until we have more manpower to... Get that done within the eight months. The decree takes effect as of today. The preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully celebrate this occasion. The decree takes effect as of today. Our sportsmen are ready. All right, so let's look at unemployment again. 6.81. All right, so that's still not too bad. Like the goal is really to have it... Uh, I want to have it between 5 and 4.5%. Four and the competition will begin in a week. All our athletes are in top form. Okay, so our nuclear pro program is doing pretty well also, and we should be able to start producing them pretty soon. Uh, do we want to take out Pakistan's chief of staff? No, I'm going to keep him there. Let's look at our networks here, so... You know what? We're gonna put a, uh... We're gonna put a network in Libya. 
and we're going to dismantle the terrorist groups there. So we're we're gonna go ahead and lift uh, the embargo that we have on them. Also do the same thing for Iraq. The decree takes effect as of today. We are awaiting your instructions to direct operations. Uh, great, another one. The same group. All right, I, I'm going to have to send. Uh, I'm going to have to put them on their investigation. The rioters, the rioters have, the rioters have taken. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Our economy is dynamic. All right, so. 7% growth is really high. Um, let's take a look at our inflation. Inflation's down to 25.98. So we have to figure out how to balance this out somehow. Industrial pollution, we raise that to right, raise that to two fifty. That brings us uh some more money in and it should slow growth down a little. And tax on company turnover, we're gonna at the 3.25 I have a small favorite the rebels have stopped fighting okay so let's do it for associations all right what was that group human sharing Foundation, okay. All right, let's All right, cancer combat with it. Okay, we, we can definitely deal with driver rights so let's see if we can take care of a few things here so maternity occupational medicine and modern modernization of medical equipment hygiene maintenance so that's about a half billion dollars that we're spending. So that's taken care of. Um, let's go to taxation. Let 
eliminate that tax altogether. And then for the environment. Capture, we're going to build 200. And for this one, we're going to build just 100. So let's look at our debt again. We have a $92 billion surplus. All right, so let's look at inflation. Is that all right, starting to kind of flatline a little bit? Okay, service. So we want to increase um, tourism. So we're going to invest another two billion dollars, which will bring it up to a five billion total. We have subdued the rebel movement. Let's go to Secret Service again. I'm going to increase national agents and international agents and invest in military intelligence and industrial espionage. The target is in position and under surveillance 24-7. Data collected by our agents will be regularly updated into the synthetic report that you will be able to review on file from now on. Good reading! Alright, and... Endocrine disruptors will invest six hundred and fifty three million into that. Okay, that still hasn't moved. Let's see about Another twenty million. I mean twenty thousand. Emotion competes with pride when I look at this building. Before us stands the expression of our national genius. Yes. Let us not mince words. This is a sacred fire which stimulates our architect's vision and drives the passion of our building professionals. Okay, creation of robotic communication. Um, I think it's Uh, we'll hold on to that. All 
right, let's see. Okay, our growth is really up there. So we're, we're going to have to spend a lot of money here. Right, do we want to do a hyperloop from there? Uh, we don't have enough manpower. So, see how much this will cost again. So, so we. You are giving our country a big breath of fresh air. Okay, let's look at our crime rate. All right, it's starting to go back down. So let's cybersecurity. We'll keep it at that. Um, because of the high growth, let's um let's give everyone a, a raise, each sector a raise. So that's almost $4 billion we invested. The decree takes effect as of today. Sharing this moment of intense spirituality with the faithful gives me great joy. On this holy day, I thank all of our communities across the country, both those in cities as well as those in small remote villages who are all coming together in prayer. Okay, so let's look at this. That's steadily going up. Um, okay, inflation is going down, but it kind of slowed up some. So, all right, I think I'm going to end this episode. Um, once again, thank you for the support. Please hit the like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you soon.